oblivious, ignorant, ungrateful. Those are the traits of some ladies I tried to help today, but more on that later. My name is Russ and I make videos to help drivers like you. If you want to improve your earnings, your ratings, your tips, check out the advice I've got for you today. Just wanted to give you a quick update on things that are going on in my market, things that I'm experiencing, and hopefully you can apply these lessons to yourself. Today has been quite windy. Here in California, we have winds called Santa Ana winds, and they're very fierce. Obviously, fire danger is the greatest risk because wildfires in California cause lots of damage and kill a lot of people. Less so is just an inconvenience for allergies, cleaning up your yard from all the debris. But for driver safety, this is key. We have to be careful out on the road. Why do I like driving when the Santa Ana winds are blowing like they are right now? Well, that's to make money. Customers don't want to go out and win like this. And so theoretically, they should be placing more orders, more grocery shopping, more ride share. And that gives us a chance as drivers to make more money. So the first topic, how am I doing on Uber Eats? I've been on a quest to get to 100% acceptance rate. I started months ago and now I'm at 99%. This order was ridiculous. The pay for this order is quite interesting. 1464, 25 miles, took me 55 minutes. And the customer in about an hour is promising me a $5 tip. So 1964 for an hour of my time. Now keep in mind here in California, we get Prop 22, so I know I'll get some more money, but I'm only doing this because I'm trying to get my acceptance rate up to 100% and see what kind of orders I get. Now you can already argue, is this trip worth it? I'm at 99%. Is this the best that Uber has to offer me? Possibly. So I'm sure you're eager to hear about what happened today. While I was waiting for orders and it was slow, I noticed a car broken down. So I noticed a person carrying a gas can. Then she came back and was filling up the car and I was watching and I was ready to go help push the car. But if they were able to get it started and leave, then no worries, but she wasn't. So I walked over and asked if I could help. The two ladies were having trouble starting it. And even after adding the gas, they couldn't move. So I advised them if they can turn it on, put it in neutral, I would push them back and get off the street because they were in a road exiting the shopping center. But instead they were oblivious because they wanted to just push the car uphill out across two lanes of major traffic across the street to the gas station. I advised them that's dangerous. I'm not going to be able to push them uphill, but if they want, I could help them push them downhill. They didn't say anything or acknowledge me. And so I said, well, I wish you the best. Take care. And then I left. I gave them a chance. I offered them help if they didn't appreciate it or think they needed it. So be it. I had done my part and so I left. Obviously, they're very ignorant, oblivious, and ungrateful because they didn't even say thanks or anything acknowledging me trying to help them. They were just dead set on what they were trying to do. And so I stayed out of their way. How does this apply to gig work, other drivers, customers? So I think it's always good to help other drivers. I'll do that if I see them around. But in light of this, if they're not accepting advice or if you offer hints about how to do something better, I just let them go on their way because you can't teach someone who's not willing to learn. So don't let that be you. From my channel and others like it, if you learn tips from other content creators on how to improve your job and make more money, give it a try. If it doesn't work out, then you'll know that they were giving bad advice or maybe things are different in your market. But don't ever have a closed mindset where you're not willing to learn from others because why repeat mistakes? Why learn things the hard way? So take that for what it's worth. The second thing to cover today, have patience. I was doing an Instacart order. It really should have been easy. There were quite a few candles and bath items. I couldn't find some, so I had to ask a worker there to help me. I'm glad I did. As I made my way to the candles, they didn't have them in stock, so I had to be patient because you know what? That customer was relying on me. They wanted those items. I can't show that I'm frustrated or be frustrated. I needed to be methodical, confirm exactly what was there, and then give options to the customer. So it said I should have taken 25 minutes. I ended up doing 43 minutes. So I needed some patience with this. 
And then I just figured, you know what, that's close to the end of the day for me, so I wrapped it up from there. It definitely pays to be patient for many reasons. You're gonna increase your tips with your customer. You're going to reduce the chance of them taking your tip away. And if you're out upset and frustrated, you're gonna have a higher chance for vehicle accidents and none of us need that. So take that to heart. The third important area, how are things in your market? I think inflation's high, people are having a hard time. So as food delivery drivers, we really can't tell if the customers are ordering or not, or maybe there's too many drivers. Today, it was really nice to meet Carlos. He's been doing food delivery full time for three years. So he started off making three and four hundred dollars a day. Now it's steadily declined down in the high two hundreds and he's having to work longer to get that money. And I have noticed this as well. He shared that there's a lot of people not only coming up from the valley here to Ventura County, but also from Los Angeles. So times have got to be tough if the drivers are willing to drive that far, put all the miles on their car, spend the gas money, just in the hopes of making some money in this location. I feel for you. My whole goal for being out doing food delivery is to earn money. I have noticed my earnings being less, it should pick up here going into the holiday season. In light of what I've shared today, are there any things that you can learn as a food delivery driver? Absolutely. I've got seven habits of highly effective food delivery drivers ready for your review, and I'm gonna see you in that video next.